James, what are you what are you doing today? I'm pulling my boat. It's November 2nd, and it's time to get it out of the water. Great. Where'd you come from? I came from uh, Bar Harbor, which is in East Harbor. Okay, so a you're... Half an hour boat ride. Half an hour boat ride. Okay. You brought it over by yourself? Yes, I did. And then who's who's actually doing the work for you? Uh, Mark Beckville. He's uh, pulling the boat for me. Terrific. And then uh, where's, it go where's it headed? Uh, it's going to head over to Storage Condos. Right. Great. My unit, and uh, we're gonna keep it there for the winter, nice and uh, nice and dry, nice and warm. And uh, I don't have to do anything to the boat. Uh, the winter rides, I don't have to do anything. Uh, you can see that it's gonna pull it out. They're gonna put it on a trailer. We're gonna wash the bottom off, and uh, we're gonna go down to storage condos. And, uh, come April, we'll go grab her again and bring her back. So would you have to be here today, or would he have handled it for you? I could have. He could have gone and gotten the boat and brought it over himself. I wouldn't have had to be here, but I like to be here. Yeah. You know? Okay. It's like a baby. Yeah. Great. Want we'll to okay. take care of it? Okay. Here we are at the lift, just getting things ready to uh, for James to pull his uh, tiara in. There he is, uh, waiting for the straps to get down in the water. Ease it on up in there. I'll tell you when to stop. of uh, lifting James' boat out, and in a minute they'll pull a trailer in, and then this travel lift will move the boat forward and set it down on the trailer. The boat's in storage, then we'll buff it all out, we'll clean it, and we'll get it ready for the, uh, the coming year. It's real easy to do. Uh, spend a few hours with it, a couple buddies, some beer, and get to go. Sounds like fun. Hey, let me ask you a question, James. Yes. What size is your boat? Uh, 30 foot Sierra. 30 foot Sierra. And what do you suppose this process is going to cost this year? Pulling it, transporting it, and getting it into your unit? It'll cost me about uh, $275 to pull up and transport it. Total. Total. Wow. So for $275, she's going to put it in your storage condos. Well, fantastic. So how would that compare to, uh, you know, if you would shrink wrap? Well, if I was to winterize the boat and shrink wrap it, it'd probably uh, be about the same cost. Uh, same cost. By process. the time they, uh, you know, drain all the pipe and uh, shrink wrap it and sit outside, which is a bit of the boat, or even if they put it in cold storage, they're still going to have to uh, winterize the boat. They'll have to shrink wrap it, but still going to get cost. Wow. So it's really very economical to store inside heated storage or storage condos. Yeah, I think it's the best way to go, and plus, uh, it's the best way to go for the boat. Uh, keep it warm all winter, and not let it uh, go hot and cold. And now we're back in the trailer uh, underneath the Tierra. The storage condos. Outside storage. That fiberglass goes through a freeze and thaw cycle several times through the winter, which destroys the finish of the boat at a microscopic level. Not only that, uh, to, to uh, shrink wrap that boat and winterize it, as James said, would cost as much as the alternative of simply putting your transporting and putting your boat in a storage condo. Okay, here we are at storage condos. Uh, as you can see, there's about 60 foot of space between the buildings. Uh, Tom Russin is over here working on his sailboat. Okay, this is James's unit. As you can see, he's got his jack stands in there and a little blocking, so he's ready to go. What's that? Oh, yeah, 
receiver. Okay, so he's got the jack stands on the stern and blocking on the keel. It was the uh, pulled it out, pulled it over, and put it in here, and now it's just uh, a little cleaning and we're ready to go. So, what's the plan this winter? What will you do with the boat? Uh, we'll come in and we'll, uh, we'll okay. clean and wax and buff out the, okay. the hull and all the upper structure. Okay, thanks. And then, uh, you know, just basically. Clean from uh, the cabin on out, and uh, when uh, April or May rolls around, we're ready to go. So you're going to borrow uh, one of our scissor lifts and buff the boat out. Even easier. One of the advantages of storage condos. Storage condos. Yep. It is. It is. There we go. Thank you.